Welcome. Excited to be here with you guys today and excited to be bringing on an awesome musician from Martinique. Jacques Bajel is going to be joining us. Today's live is put together by the Martinique Tourism Authority. I've had the wonderful opportunity to travel and film in Martinique and experience the amazing music. So that's what we're going to experience today. It's a great lead up into Thanksgiving. So if you guys have questions and comments during this live, please post them in the chat. We're gonna to try to answer them as we go. And please stay on until the end because we're actually gonna ask you guys a question. So pay attention during the live. And two people will have the opportunity to win Jacques Bajel's album. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay to the end of this chat. And you know this, this live stream and these meetups are such a great opportunity to experience other cultures right now, especially when we can't travel. So thanks again to the Martinique Tourism Authority for putting this together. So I'm excited to have you guys meet Jacques. Jacques Bajal is um, coming to us from the Hotel La Pagerie in Martinique. And he has a fascinating background. He's coming to us complete with the sounds of Martinique, the crickets in the background. Thanks for joining us, Jacques. And Jacques has a fascinating career. If you guys have been to Martin's before, if you've taken a cruise, you might have seen Jacques because he's been out and about in the industry for years. Not only is he a father and he has three kids, he's a diver, which we know is amazing to do in Martin's, but he's also a ballet musician. And he's won numerous awards in tourism and by the French National Order. So, Jacques, I'm excited to have you here to educate us about the music of Marty and get us into the groove. Thank you. This is reciprocal. I feel the same energy, the same, uh, the same. For me, this evening is a celebration for Martinique's uh, culture and uh, uh, immaterial uh, uh, heritage, so to speak. And, and Jacques, you are now coming to us from Hotel Le Pagerie, which is, if you guys don't know where Martinique is, it's in the French Caribbean. We can see on this map the great location. We've got warm vibes coming to us from the Caribbean. And he's actually near Troisville, which is a place I've gotten to visit. It's in the southwest area of Martinique. And he's coming to us again from Hotel Le Pagerie, their beautiful tropical cafe. So I'm glad that um, we're able to kind of here and experience Martin, even though I'm coming to you from my home in New York City and getting ready for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. We're, in a, we're in a kind of a, a wonderful decor, a wonderful uh, setting uh, <laughs> from uh, the La Pagerie, uh, which we thank wholeheartedly for welcoming us here. Uh, and uh, I myself uh, plan to, to stay here uh, one of these days with my, my wife. Because I, I am, I feel really, uh, it's marvelous. I, I, I'm enchanted uh, by this uh, paradise here. Well, it's a it's good a time. To, yeah, a good time to take a staycation. And Jacques, I'm excited to hear more about Martinique's music from you because it's always best to get your information direct from the locals. That's what I like to do on my series, Travels with Darley. And Martinique is such a diverse melting pot of cultures. When I was there, I felt like I had you know, experiences that were African, French, we had Indian influences, and that's what the ballet music is encompassing. So tell us a little bit about that musical style, and, and that's the, the, the kind of crux of your album that you have on Spotify, which remember you guys can win. And remember, ask us questions if you have them during the chat. Well, just a few uh, words about Martinique's uh, um, building of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, culture. 
um, the Maori sculpture is the result, the outcome of a, a magical uh, syncretism between several influences. The predominant one is, uh, with no, without any, with, with no doubt, African, uh, from several ethnies, uh, ethnic groups uh, like the Bambaras, the uh, Adaras, uh, uh, from Congo, uh, uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Senegal, etc. They uh, they were the victims of a triangular trade, and they arrived in Martinique by thousands. Um, uh, and they, they met with the uh, local, I mean, with, with the um, colonizers, so to speak, and this created a kind of uh, a new culture, still with a lot of rhythm, but with some choreography inspired by the uh, European and the French culture. And uh, this is why I speak about syncretism, uh, which characterizes our, our culture, and which makes it, uh, makes, makes it uh, really unique uh, in terms of uh, influences. That is unique, and I understand with ballet, which I've been able to, again, listen to through Spotify, through your album, and also through a list that has been created by the Martinique Tourism Authority. But tell us a little bit about um, what we can learn about ballet music. I understand that you're going to be singing in Creole to share with us some of the music. Yeah, ballet is derived from an, Afri an African term uh, which uh, uh, describes uh, a celebration, a feast, so to speak, after uh, the harvest of yams. This is what it used to be, uh, particularly in Congo. They spoke about uh, uh, baule, for instance. Uh, in uh, Nigeria, it was called uh, it was uh, Yoruba. Um, in other words, uh, the um, the bele is intimately linked to. Three, uh, three, how to say, yeah, three uh, meanings of life. The first is uh, the fecundity of, 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 of man, uh, of humanity, the fecundity of land, and the fecundity of death. So this trilogy, uh, this trilogy, or this trilogy, is, um, is what characterizes modern age. In, in other words, ballet is, is sung and danced not only for a feast, not only to celebrate something uh, 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 something joyful, so to speak, but also sadness, uh, also death after a, a funeral, also also the um, the, um, the ballet uh, it used to be also danced in. Uh, uh, as night closes in, and also at the uh, during night, and particularly at full moon, we call it calenda, and also uh, what we call uh, la lincle in, in Creole, which means dances at full at full moon, at full moon, and also as uh, the days uh, started to uh, to raise. It reminds me, so the cool music is all different occasions. It, it reminds me of like what we would hear during the holiday season or during like major, major life events. We might, we might be listening to Bella music. Can you play maybe a song that you think is one we, we, you'd like to hear? Well, I admit the sound is not uh, really perfect, but uh, do you want me to, to perform something? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, with pleasure. I'm going to call uh, Professor ba uh, Daniel uh, to uh, to accompany me uh, for the, for the with the wooden sticks, uh, okay. which set the tempo. So I'm going to sing one of the uh, the first track of my album called uh, La Via Belle, which means life is beautiful. Mama, la via belle. Belly, 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 mama, I love you, belly. I shine, I love you, belly, mama, I love you, belly. Belly, 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 belly. Yeah. 
out there because I'm loving this. I'm loving this job. And that's actually one that I was listening to earlier on Spotify. So I'm a fan. I'm, I'm, I, I could have sung along with you, but I decided to spare the audience out there my singing. <laughs> I can dance a little. <laughs> So Jacques, we actually have a question that came in from Greg and he wanted to know, um, first, when we'll be able to travel again, that's uncertain, but also about any annual cultural festivals for visitors that may want to head to Martinique. Well, there are several events in Martinique. Uh, there is one which is what is called Carnival, which is celebrated by uh, uh, just before, uh, I mean, just after Christmas. Uh, we have Christmas, by the way. Uh, we celebrate, we sing Christmas carols. Um, we also organized uh, very regularly throughout the year some what called some ballet parties in which we, uh, in kind of a ritual, we meet and sing and dance uh, ballet. Um, there are, there is after, uh, after, uh, after, of course, after the carnival, we have the Easter, uh, the, we have Lent. And also we have uh, what we call, we, we celebrate Good Friday. And we also have, uh, uh, after we, we, uh, we celebrate Easter, um, and each uh, celebration is also accompanied by uh, a, a special food. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, our cuisine, as you uh, certainly you are aware, uh, is very diverse, and uh, it, 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 it changes according to the celebration, according to the feast. And according to the religious celebration, for instance, on Good Friday we eat what we call akra, small salted fritters, uh, and, and which are really uh, uh, very tasty uh, with a uh, mixture of uh, flour, uh, vegetables, etc. But I shall not leave the point. Um, I just wanted to rum drink aqua with rum, right? Well, rum is uh, is a ubiquitous beverage, but uh, we uh, personally, I'm a teetotaler, but I, uh, from time to time, I may sip sip it through uh, when we share a moment with uh, some uh, other country fellows. Uh, uh, at Christmas, we eat some li we we we, we liqueurs, uh, what we call shrub, for instance. Uh, we have a uh, um, coconut uh, a liqueur as well, Def diverse liqueur, uh, several ty types of liqueurs. But in Martinique, again, um, we, I, I, I would say that uh, in Martinique, we have to be uh, sober sometime as well. Uh, as uh, uh, we, from time, we, we, we are so uh, expanding in, in, in life and, and in joy that we sometimes we forget that uh, alcoholism may be dangerous. Well, when I was in Martinique, every place that I visited, I had a new bottle of rum presented to me because there are distilleries everywhere. So I just going to say it was a <laughs> I still have Martinique rum at my house. I should be busting it out here. But Zach, tell us a little bit about some of the other musical styles like Begin and, and Zouk that we could experience um, from Martin. Well, the Zouk, the Begin is, uh, was, was, was born at St. Pierre during the second half of the, of the 19th century. And I think the Begin is a mixture, uh, a melting uh, between the Bele uh, of Calenda and also Polka. She used to be a European uh, music. And uh, again, uh, syncretism is the key word to explain uh, our, our, our music. Zuzuk is also the result, so to speak, of, of, of ballet. Um, it was born uh, in, during the 80s with a famous orchestra called Kassav, uh, which is the name of uh, Arrow, Arrow Cape. Uh, but uh, we also have uh, some uh, uh, some other musics like uh, the cheval bois, which is a, a kind of a music uh, which uh, which means uh, wooden horse, uh, which uh, which is which used to be carved and chiseled in the, in the Caruso, yeah, mm. uh, and uh, it, it, it which used to be pushed by some volunteers, 
uh, as fast as possible. Uh, sometimes, uh, because I remember having the vertigo, uh, I, I feeling, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, because uh, it, it kept, it, it kept uh, turning around and under the, the, the enthralling rhythm of the music of Cheval Bois. So the Cheval Bois is not only the, caru the carousel, the car uh, is not only the, uh, the, the carousel, but also the, uh, the name of the music, which used to accompany the participants while they were turning around. So it's, it, it is very typical of Martinique, Cheval Bois, wooden house, again, which is a chiseled and carved object uh, on which uh, children and also adults used to, to sit and, uh, and during the turning around. We like, have, uh, totally, we have, yeah. Yeah, we have a carousel like that in Central Park, so maybe I need to go put my Spotify playlist on and listen to some of that music and go <laughs> around in Central yeah. Park to get open up. But whenever, whenever you come to Martinique, be, uh, well, it's an opportunity to really to enjoy the Cheval Bois. It's a real, uh, it's a real uh, uh, part of our culture. Yeah. Well, and also we also we have uh, some uh, some other um, um, uh, uh, heritage uh, uh, of our uh, of our music is uh, what we call uh, la saute, for instance. Is still it's a work. It's a work in music. Um, it's a helping hand uh, given on the on the land. Uh, uh, with some between some uh, some uh, some uh, people from several people from the community, and uh, and the la saute is expressed uh, by what we call uh, the sewing of the sewing. Uh, we call it uh, Amazon, and also the other uh, is what we call uh, the tilling of the land. Uh, uh, which is still uh, Perform here in Martinique uh, uh, during the weekend, and people and there is a, it's just it really a helping hand. Well, um, we actually have a video to to showcase another of these styles, the begin style, and it's from the ballet exotic of Martinique. So I think they're going to give us both a little dance break, and we're going to play this video so we can see another type of uh, musical style from from Martinique. And then keep asking your questions because we're going to keep taking questions. I know um, Veronique, Veronique has asked us a question and we'll answer it when we come back after this video. Okay. Thanks for sticking with us, you guys. We're going to stick with us until the end and keep asking your questions because we're going to ask you a question at the end and you're going to have the chance, two people are going to have the chance to be entered to win Zach's album, which we're going to talk a little bit about now and we're going to get to um, Veronique's question during that because it really applies to, to this album that Zach has on Spotify now. So if you guys get Spotify and other streaming sites, you can go and check out Zach's album and groove to it. Um, and why don't you tell us about the album, what's it called, Josh, and, and what they would you discover when we listen to it? Josh, do you, um, your album out on Spotify. Tell That's us correct. About it. Yeah. So there are 15 tracks, and uh, I, we tried, uh, well, by the way, I'd like to wholeheartedly thank. Uh, uh, the uh, two, two, per, three persons. Uh, the first one is what called Kali. Kali is a, an artist from Martinique, and uh, uh, he he is a very, very, a very famous singer, but also banjo player and a guitar player. I'd like also to thank uh, his uh, the the bass player uh, 
Philip Birdie, Birdie, and also Professor Daniel, the gentleman who played uh, the Tibois. There's two sticks uh, behind me, is, which is a professor at the university, but also um, a gentleman specialized in, uh, in uh, Creole and Belle, and he gave me a great hand uh, in, in uh, checking the right Creole term. So I'd like to thank uh, the, these, uh, these friends uh, very, very wholeheartedly, sincerely. I mentioned, forgot to mention about the, what we call the Ototai. Ototai is another um, uh, dance which used to be, uh, which is still performed in the area, the village of Francois in the southeast of Martinique. Uh, Ototai, it's, uh, it, it, it's really a, another aspect of our music. Uh, and why auto tie? High high waist because uh, of the uh, the the dress that the the ladies used to uh, the cut of the dress and also so the gentlemen who used to wear their pants very high. So since the auto tie, it's uh, a, a, one more time a, a perfect result between the begin. Uh, and also the uh, some aspects of uh, the uh, contre dance uh, uh, from the French uh, uh, the French culture. Well, Jacques, um, we had a question come in from Vera Meek from, and she was asking when your interest in music began. When did you start to get interested in music? So. Um, Jacques, um, Veronique was asking, when did you start to get interested in music? When did your interest in music begin? Well, I, I um, when I, I was raised in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a district of musicians, so I was uh, surrounded by musicians, and also I believe in what we call atavism. In other words, it's a natural heritage that is in your genes, and, and uh, I believe I... Uh, I, I, I receive this kind of uh, uh, natural heritage. Uh, I can help it, and uh, <laughs> if I'm a, uh, I love uh, I love the drum. I love singing. I love dancing, uh, and this is a real uh, what we call activism, uh, which is a, a natural heritage from our forefathers and ancestors. We call this uh, the spirit of Gangan. <laughs> And Zach's, one of Zach's songs is also featured on a new Spotify channel that uh, Martinique's Tourism Authority has launched. It's called Martinique Caribbean Vibes. And I was actually listening to it earlier. There are seven hours of music. And what's great about it is there are artists that are well-known. There are classic artists. You'll hear up-and-coming artists. So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and follow it and like the playlist. We're going to put the link in the comments. And this is going to be um, posted again in the chat. But go and like these things because when you guys go on Spotify and you like Doc songs and you like his album and you listen to it and you listen to the Martinique playlist, one thing that a lot of people don't think about is that you're actually doing something good for musicians. You're supporting musicians because they are benefiting from your likes and your listens. And this is music that will make you feel good because it's super upbeat. It's awesome. So um, go on, go into Spotify, check these things out, and you can you can groove to the vibes of Martin's playlist and Jock's content and Jock's new album on Spotify. And Jock, I know you wanted to also comment on uh, this new Spotify playlist and what Martin's been doing for local music because it's so important to think about those things during this time when we're kind of staying at home and not as much is going on in the, in the travel realm. I'd like to pay tribute really to the Martin Tourism Authorities uh, for contributing so intensely, so generously to preserve the uh, our musicians uh, because they are the the uh, conveyors of happiness. So uh, again, one more time, thank you wholeheartedly to the Modern Tourism Authority for uh, helping the artists to be live in in the in the light of the world. To be um, uh, also because I remember being myself 
a manager of the tourism of the cruise department and uh, i remember when the the modern tourism authority we used to dedicate quite a, a great quite 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 this some amount of money for uh, a great expense for uh, the uh, uh, providing entertainment ashore while the cruise visitors were disembarking. And, uh, uh, and this uh, um, generous, uh, this, this generosity from the Modern Tourism Authority towards the artists of Martinique is to be mentioned. Wonderful. No, I think it's so great. And again, you guys can support local musicians from near or far at this point by just going on Spotify and listening. So, Doc, would yeah. you would you um, would you play another song that you'd like to share with us? Because I know you have so many. I've been listening to them all day and love to hear what you'd love to share. You mean a grand finale? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give, give us a finale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call my I'm gonna call my partner uh, Danielle. If he, okay. he doesn't mind, and also I'd like to remind our uh, uh, follow followers that uh, the Modern Tourism Authority had the artist also last summer, uh, uh, and I think it is also worth to be mentioned uh, by providing entertainments in hotels during one month, every day. So uh, again, one more time, thank you wholeheartedly to the Modern Tourism Authority. Yes, and you guys don't go away because after Josh's song, we are going to ask you guys a question, and you know you're gonna be entered into the chance to win when you when you answer in the chat. Josh's album. Two people will be winning Josh's album, so don't go away. We're going to sing a belia. The belia is a way of uh, um, summoning uh, up uh, help. And also, it's a gathering. It's a, it's a, also a way of thanking someone. It's a way of uh, it's a lot of song uh, in favor of someone who deserves it. And it's uh, it's uh, it's very uh, uh, it symbolizes many things. Uh, it, it is probably one of the most important parts of our our Vela culture, Belia, which is the the dance of the of the uh, it's in this dance it we we have a tendency to to uh, to jump forward and uh, like the uh, what do you call the uh, the goat belia e en nous a pié en vérité nous a pié ay 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 belia e en nous a pié en vérité nous que dans un résultat ay 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 When uh, there are no dancers, we ha we don't have any uh, choir uh, to give me the strength, of course. Of, uh, but anyhow, I've been trying to do it for you, Jacques. I've been trying on my end. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little frustrating, but we it was uh, uh, endurable. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounded great. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm excited because, again, we have uh, two people are going to win Doc's album. 
So we're going to be posting a question on screen for you guys. So you can you can hopefully try to win this. And it's, what is the name of the Spotify playlist created by the Martin Meek Tourism Authority? If you go on Spotify, you can cheat right now by looking up Martin Meek and trying to find it. But again, what is the name of the Spotify playlist created by the Martin Meek Tourism Authority? So put your answers in the chat, and we're going to be picking the winners and announcing them tomorrow on Facebook. So make sure to go on Facebook also and, and like the page, Martin's page, and also go on Spotify and like and follow these albums. And you know, right now we're all waiting to travel again. We're waiting for those flights with American Airlines to come back to take us to Fort de France so we can meet Doc in person. But um, Jock, I'm really glad that we got to do this. I think these virtual meetups are just the perfect way to cross culture, learn about new things, and I'm really glad that you could do this from Martin and from the Hotel La Pazerie. So I'm, I'm so thankful that they hosted you on this. And you guys, you know, please like the Spotify and Facebook page. If you want to check out the episodes that we did on Martin, they are on Amazon Prime, Travels with Starry series. And Jeff, thank you so much. I, I really like, loved this meetup. I love talking to you before the meetup, and I'm so glad we were able to, to do this and experience the music of Martin Meek before Thanksgiving. It's such a great thing to do. I hope that this, uh, this live um, uh, has given the, the followers uh, the, the real um, envy and uh, enthusiasm to look forward to coming to visit us, to visiting us in Martinique uh, when, well, when things get back to operation. So uh, we look forward to receiving our visitors and uh, we God bless them, God bless you all uh, during this Thanksgiving time and also for uh, Christmas time. We wish you a happy Christmas and God bless you all. Thank you wholeheartedly. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for joining us. and. I think we're going to be um, going out with a little bit more music on this concluding uh, video for you. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's so great to keep in touch like this on these meetups and through social media during this time. It makes you really feel a lot closer to people, which is such a great thing. So and, enjoy the, and enjoy the diversity of our music on Spotify. Yeah, of course. We're doing it. We're doing that. Seven, seven hours. It's, a, it's quite seven a lot. Seven hours. That's a lot of time. We love it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we're going to leave you with a video from, again, the Ballet Exotic of Martinique. And please share your comments on this slide. If you had any other questions we didn't answer, please share them. And we can always answer post-chat as well. Um, thanks so much for joining us for this amazing uh, cross-Caribbean, cross-cultural exchange here on Facebook. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. You came to Martinique for its dreamy beaches, and the island offered you a new paradise. You experienced new natural wonders, new flavors, new sensations, new traditions. And at the end of the journey, you found so much more than a destination. You found a new family. La Martinique, El Vuzin.